close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And hey guys, welcome to today's video. So, it is Tuesday. Um, it's like 1 30. Um, Landon's currently napping. Don't mind my messy background, by the way. I'm sitting on the floor and my sheets are getting washed right now, so don't mind that. But Landon's currently napping right now and it's snowing outside. And I'm, I have a doctor's appointment actually in an hour and I really need Landon to wake up in like the next 30 minutes. Um, but he's been sleeping for like an hour now. I just warmed up some lunch. Um, I'm just having some leftovers made stir fry rice and veggies with um, pineapple barbecue chicken, so I decided just to sit down um, and talk to you guys a little bit since I've been getting a bunch of DMs from people asking me a bunch of questions and obviously just curiosity because of the last video that I posted um, and then also with my Instagram posts, so I mean I get it. Um, so I thought I would just like sit down and like talk to you guys a little bit. I did ask you guys on Instagram to ask me questions. And I did get a few. Now if I can find them. Um, so let me just like kind of like touch up on what's going on because I feel like people are still really curious like as to what's going on with me because... A lot of the questions were all about my pregnancy right now and kind of like what's going on and how I'm feeling and everything. One of the biggest things that I kept getting asked again and again was, do you have preeclampsia again? Someone said that my baby was born 20 weeks because of it, but I don't want another, so I'm curious. Um, so yes, I do have preeclampsia again. Um, I had it with Landon. I didn't know I had it with Landon until I went in and my blood pressure was like, skyrocketed and I just felt very funny so they actually just induced me the same day um this time around they've been monitoring me my whole pregnancy and um I had like slight like my I had slight pro I had a few proteins in my urine the beginning of my pregnancy and so they assumed like well there's a chance it could happen I went to a high-risk doctor just to like you know take extra precautions and everything but everything seemed fine and normal and I was like cleared from like they thought like maybe I just wouldn't get it again um and then they were like well we'll just check back again at the second half and end of your pregnancy um which normally that's when preeclampsia comes and basically um I did like a urine again I did like a 24-hour urine sample it was slight proteins and then I just felt like still felt like kind of crappy so they maybe do another 24-hour urine test and then my blood pressure was like really really elevated this is kind of all what happened like last two weeks ago now and um I do my preeclampsia is back um and it's actually like uh, more severe this time around um they're just monitoring me um obviously I'm only I'm actually 30 weeks and three days wait I'm actually 30 weeks and 4 days today, so they want to keep the baby baking as long as he can, obviously. Should I be this way? I feel like I should be this way, right? Mm. Just my background's really, really messy, so I don't mind it. But, um, <laughs> they want to keep him cooking. <laughs> they want to keep him cooking as long as possible, so I'm just getting monitored. Um, they do plan on inducing me as soon as I hit 37 weeks. So they're planning on inducing me December 13th, which is crazy because my birthday is the 16th, which is like, I can have a baby like right before my 25th birthday, which is insane. But I'm so excited. Um, but if he can go longer without them having to induce me at 37 weeks, they're gonna, that's what they're going to do, um, obviously. So, yes, I do have preeclampsia again, which is fun um the only thing about preeclampsia is like it's not just like one thing it's just a bunch of things my son is waking up again 
Um, and the next question I had too was, um, would you ever move back to Rhode Island? Um, I don't know who that is, but, um, I don't know. Me and Cameron have talked about moving back to Rhode Island, um, just because, like, you know, it's, like, nice to have family and stuff, but I think the answer is no. We would not move back to Rhode Island as of right now. Maybe, like, maybe in a few years or maybe we'll retire in Rhode Island. I don't know. I mean, I mean, Rhode Island's beautiful and the food's amazing and it's all fun and games, but it's so much nicer being somewhere else. Um, it just really sucks not having your family around. I think that's the biggest thing I miss about Rhode Island is not having family. My mom lives in New Mexico, so for me, it's not like I miss my mom in Rhode Island because like she's not there. Um, but like for me personally, having like my aunts and uncles um, and my cousins, it's like a big deal. Like I really miss not being around them. Um, I love having like the family dinners and like just like get together and like just sitting down and having coffee and like catching up on life like I miss that um um it just like like when we left Rhode Island last time the day that we said goodbye to like my side of the family um I just bawled my eyes out when we left and I was like this just sucks because it's like it's so good to have that family and it was so good for Landon to have that family around him and just to see like my uncles playing with him and my uncle one of my uncles is actually Landon's godfather um and it was just like for them to see them together it's just like it just breaks my heart because I feel like in a way I'm taking that away from Landon by not bringing like not moving him back home but I also feel like I can give him more in life. I can give both my kids more in life by not going back to Rhode Island. Um, if that makes any sense at all, I don't know. But yeah, um, I would not move back to Rhode Island. Not yet. Another question I got was, what's going on with my lump? Um, so to kind of give you more, um, since that last video, I obviously have had an appointment since then and I actually had my appointment today again with them um basically I'm having a lot of pain right here underneath my right rib and um they thought the pain they thought the pain could be just stretching in the baby but it's a constant pain and it's like an 8 out of a 10 24 7 and it's so painful like it really really hurts um I do have a bruised rib over here my floating rib is bruised, and then I have a blood clot right here. So they put me for ultrasounds that Thursday that I was in because they can't do anything else. They can't do x-rays or anything. And when they were doing the ultrasounds, um, they thought I had cholestasis. I, I don't know how to say that word. Um, it's basically like the bile in the liver like doesn't function properly or something. So that's what they were testing me for to like look for and everything. But that came back fine. Um, and so what they found when they did the ultrasounds was actually a lump, um, and the lump is, do I have it over there? I thought I saw a cord over here earlier. Um, I have a lump and it's like about like that big and it's in my, it's in my liver. So basically they don't really know what the lump is. Um, they just see a lump. Um, they're not too con turned with it as of right now. I think they said that the lump could be a hemo. I don't know how to say all these words. I don't know. Basically, it could be non-cancerous, but we won't know if it's cancerous until I have the baby and I do further testing and get x-ray done, like get actual x-rays and get an MRI and actually maybe possibly removing it um, since it's causing me pain. They think the reason why it's causing me so much pain is because when you're pregnant, like your liver is like a football. And then when you're pregnant, it gets like really, really squished because of the baby and everything. So they're thinking that the lump is just kind of like, there's more pressure onto the lump itself and it's causing pain, uh, which is like right underneath my rib. So uh, for them, the only thing that they plan on doing is kind of... Um, 
monitoring the growth of the lump. They want to make sure it doesn't grow because if it grows, then um, it could be cancerous or something different. Um, if it grows or if they see um, like my liver function isn't working properly because of this lump, um, I guess that can cause issues to the baby but to myself. So basically um, with the lump, they're just monitoring it. Um, they're not too, too concerned with it just because it's so, so, so tiny. Um, but because I am pregnant, they do want to monitor a little bit more. Um, he said normally if I wasn't pregnant, he'd probably just do an MRI to check it. And then if nothing came up from that, then, or if it didn't look more serious, then he would just check it like every six months for growth. But because I'm pregnant, he is checking it every two weeks. Um, so I have an appointment today because I had a lab work done last week. And I have an actual ultrasound next week to get more uh, measurements done on the lump. So that's that. I know I kind of like briefly talked about it. All I really know so far about it, um, it's kind of scary to like be told you have a lump on your liver. Um, but they're monitoring it. They're not too concerned with it. Um, I am on bed rest because of it. So I'm on bed rest because of that. But I'm also on bed rest because of how um bad the preeclampsia is and then because of the bruised rib and everything um they kind of just want me to relax obviously blood pressure can be skyrocketed due to stress and um pain and um i sit in an office when i'm at work so sitting for too long causes a lot of discomfort so i'm constantly laying down on my, my left side only because i can't lay on my right side um, but that's kind of that, um, nothing to be too concerned about, but just monitoring, monitoring it. I'm so hungry, but I'm talking, so I'm not eating. Um, another question I got was if I was working because I was showing that I was like home and I did talk to my boss and we both did, agreed for me to. just take my bed rest serious and actually just be at home um he told me like if I want to come to the office I can come in for a few hours or whatever and I think not this week but I think next week I may go in for a few hours on Monday and Tuesday like I normally do just to kind of get out of the house um but I can't sit there for like eight hours because it just kills but um yeah I am working I'm working strictly from home um which is so nice but it also kind of sucks because I feel like I'm always working when I'm working from home um but I'm still thankful that I'm able to still work I do plan on taking my maternity leave but I think I talked to my boss and I think when I take my maternity leave I'll be working from home so I can start working whenever I want after I have the baby but I'll only be working from home um until I'm ready to go into the office he is hiring someone else to kind of help me out so that way if I take my maternity leave, I can actually like take my maternity leave and not worry about what's going on at work. Last time I went in unexpected, he didn't have anyone so I was kind of like, when I came back it was like a train wreck because he ended up hiring someone last minute and she was okay but it was kind of like she was thrown into it so it was just a lot. Um, but this time around like I have a Luciana which she's like the marketing, um, what is she, marketing assistant or something like that, but she helps me a lot with like colors and certain things and she can do a lot that I can do, so that's nice to know that like there's backup there, um, but yeah, I do plan on going back probably shortly after I have the baby just to like bring home money, but also to kind of give myself something to do, um, but I don't plan on going to the office right away. So that's nice because with Landon, I went back after like five weeks because I had no choice. But this time around, I'm taking my time. Um, so one of the questions I got to were, um, do you want any more babies after this one? Um, <laughs> and to answer that question, no. I want no more babies after this one. Um, but... 
the reason why I say that is because this pregnancy has been so much on me and I didn't even know I mean I'm so thankful I've gotten pregnant and to have this baby but I did not want to get pregnant <laughs> when Landon was so little um he's only 18 months old and I'm about to have a baby so it's like it's a lot like being pregnant and having like a little like like a baby still is like a lot on me um I do end up wanting to have one more eventually um I don't think I could have only two kids um I have always wanted a big family so I think for me I'll have one more in a few years like maybe once land it's like in school um and then the second one's like almost in school I think that's like when I'll have a second one a uh, third one second I am I am having a second one but um yeah I do want one more after him but let's ask me that again once I have him <laughs> and like because you never know I may completely be like no I'm done another question I got was what is um baby Tara's name and I'm not telling you guys well you guys know it starts with an a um that's all I'll, I'll, that's all I'll say and the reason why is because I mean we've been calling him this one name we've told our close like our, like we've told our parents and our, our grandparents um his name told everyone like we don't know until we meet this baby what his name's gonna be um I'm pretty 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 sure this is what I want his name to be but it could change so um yeah I think this is his name but it very well could change once I meet him um but I'm pretty pretty sure like I love this name so yeah we do have a name picked out um but we're not sharing it we'll share it once we like announce his arrival just like we did with Landon um so yeah his name goes with an A so if you can guess it leave your guesses like down below or something and we'll see if you're close it's a very unique name I'll give you that so hmm. another question I got was are you doing a nursery tour and I do plan on doing a nursery tour his room's actually almost done I just need like two more things for his room but his room is pretty much complete I just personally have to finish his closet because his closet is a disaster it has all my clothes in it still but his room itself is like pretty much done and it's like so cute his room is completely different than Landon's which is like exactly what I wanted his room's adorable and my parents helped so much with buying a lot of the things that are in his room um they're like just the best but yes I will have a nursery tour soon I promise um as soon as I finish it completely I'll share it with you guys another question was are you going to do um the meal prepping video before baby again and I do plan on making the freezer meal prep video the only thing is I want it to be completely different because the last one I did I did not expect it to have so many views and it was like a very bad video like it didn't explain a lot because my camera died and it didn't show you guys enough so so I do plan on doing another one soon actually probably within the next few weeks I plan on like filming one um I just need camera to help me out because Landon's a little bit a lot to handle so I do plan on filming that soon um and when I do I'll be like a little bit more informative um because the other one is not that great another one is do you plan on um, filming a hospital bag a hospital bag video and I don't just because I feel like everyone I feel like everyone's so different with what they pack in a hospital bag I watched so many of them in the past and then I never actually had my hospital bag completely done when I was with Landon I only had it half done um and Cameron had to pretty much like finish packing my bag and it sucked because I felt like I had nothing but I feel like overall the hospital gives you everything you need so in reality what you want is more like comfort things like something that you want to be like comfortable in like clothes wise or like for the baby like to dress him up cute or her cute like 
everything else like the hospital pretty much gives you so i'm not filming a hospital bag video maybe i'll incorporate it into a vlog to let you guys kind of know what i have but i don't plan on making like an actual video because hopefully i even film I hopefully i even get my bag hopefully i even get my bag finished <laughs> but i can hear landon waking up so i am going to go ahead and get him ready for the sitter's house go get go to my appointment maybe i'll pick up a coffee and maybe I'll finish answering some questions in the car. Hello. Hi. Oh. Oh, you see my rice? You want some rice? Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> He's in a toddler bed now, so he gets out of his bed every day. Can you say hi? Hi. <gasps> oh, you want more? Okay. Can you say hi? Go hi. <laughs>